Hey, Vasanta here. So I was going to do this uh, live on Twitch, but I had an internet outage and I finally was able to fix it. Um, if you want the full story, you can go on my Twitch and ask me there. But meanwhile, we're going to do a reaction video because... Um, Hello everyone and welcome start. to oh, the God. official Genshin Impact version 1.2 sneak peek live stream. Kinda my loud. name is Karina Betker. Many of you may recognize me as the voice of Paimon. And joining me today is none other than Zach Aguilar. Greetings everyone. I'm Zach Aguilar and I voice the male traveler Ether in Genshin Impact. We certainly share quite a bit of dialogue in the game, so I'm super happy we get to do the live stream together. It only seems fitting that we yeah. do a live stream together, doesn't it? <laughs> Actually, this is our first time ever doing an official Genshin Impact stream. Yes, it is, and it's gonna be great. Thanks everyone so much for joining us today. Now, before we kick things off with version 1.2 reviews, <laughs> I think we could just take a very special moment to thank everyone in the Genshin Impact community for their love Love and support and of, of course the game they're showing up through version Albedo, 1. Right? Woohoo! Definitely. Thanks everyone for your support of Genshin Impact. Thanks everyone. Talk for so, right, Zach, you know. how did you like version 1.1? 1. 1? Did you get hit by any meteorites? Well, you know, I like shiny things, so I touched a meteorite and fell into an eternal slumber and never completed the quest line. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, version 1.1 <laughs> 1. 1 was super cool. I enjoyed trying out all of the skills and abilities of the new characters from the banners that dropped in 1.1. 1. 1. And all right, all right. I finally okay. had a riveting monologue at the very end. How about yourself, Karina? Have you been enjoying the game lately? Oh, yeah, of course. It's always super exciting to see our voice acting in action, you know? And it's awesome to see how much effort they've been putting into new content for the game with each Wait, version. Wait, except for um, um, Zombie's story quest. was definitely a Her really voice somehow cool wasn't there for me. storyline. And they have a character with a bird, and I love birds. I have a pet bird myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway, we're here today to bring everyone a sneak peek of what will be coming in version 1.2 update. Are you excited, Zach? You know it. There's so much content for us to show everyone for 1.2, so we'd better just go ahead and dive in. All right, let's get this thing rolling. Version 1.2 is going to come jam-packed oh, with man. new content, so let's do a quick overview first, shall we? I'm ready. All right, in version 1.2, we'll have some brand new characters, a completely new right area of the map to explore, as well as some exciting new events. Also, we'll have some good old updates and optimizations to some current features, which is always a plus. So, Zach, what are you most excited okay. for in okay. this update? Well, you know, of course, everyone loves seeing new characters, but this is the first time we're getting a new area to explore in Genshin Impact, so I think that's pretty exciting. <laughs> But I mean, you before get a we forget, for a child. we should probably mention that we have some prizes for our live viewers, don't you think? Yep, that's right. For all of our live viewers out there, we'll be giving away we some, some codes. redeemable codes. So go yeah, ahead and summon all do. your friends to the stream for a chance to win some prizes. Or they can just try to keep the goodies for themselves. Dude, I've that been would lacking, be nice, man. would it? No, that wouldn't. Remember, guys, adventuring is about Not my fault my internet went down. Just like Paimon uh, and the Traveler. Yeah. You know, us. Anyways, let's take a first look at the official trailer for Genshin Impact version 1.2. Here we go. I, I liked one of the things. Do you know the story of Durin and this mountain? Snow gathers atop this mountain and never melts which is a most curious phenomenon. In fact, I believe that the very sword in your hand has Durin's remains in it. As such, who could I find to help me if not you? That's Albedo, boys. Into position, prepare for battle. Getting a little cold. Sucrose, oh, Sucrose is gonna be in the story. Yeah, I'm getting goosebumps already. Dude, there's a special rune guard that's like- Genius, but I don't think I'm any genius. Is he fighting with his eyes closed? Moment of birth. My job is to honor my contract with Rex Lathis. Oh, yeah. Ice Archer, right? Come on. I should concentrate on this. 
It's so nice to de-stress. Well, what's up with that, that ice pillar? I made a new discovery while sketching nearby. There's an area up ahead that's quite remarkable. I'm hoping it looks like there's the multiple layers. I'm hoping world. that's the case. What could it be? Wait, is that a giant ice lavature? Not lavature, but um I don't know, frosture. Is that a special ley line? Okay, okay. I mean the ice plant is still there. Like a super metal golem. The cubes are here in a dungeon. Was the two of us meeting I mean, a domain? Really a good thing. Interesting. Is there gonna be a dragon though? <laughs> Is there gonna be a dragon? We soon lost riches. Never before seen hypostasis. Prosper, hold on. Okay, I got. We gotta go back to this later in the mountain. No, no, no. Let's let's go back. Dragon spine spear. Is that the weapon that we're talking about? You spear. Huh. People are talking about ah, nothing says new game content like a good right, trailer. We just let, oh, we just know, let it go. Right? So now that we've had an right, official I want first these, look I want at these the new Primo Dragon gems. Spine area, what are your first impressions, Zach? It looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool place. Like there's literally snow everywhere in that trailer, and I love snow. Well, it's definitely pretty fitting for a December release, don't you think? Yes, it's very wintry, and I just love it when games can match the seasons. Me too. So I initially thought that this new area would be like a basic mountain in the game, but after yeah, seeing the trailer, like, this thing looks like an entirely be. new beast. It's way more than I expected, and what is that red crystal heart looking thing is that Aether finds? I, like, I don't know. Uh, also, it looks like we'll be getting a lot of new frosty looking monsters. Yeah, there was obviously an icy mean, fire mage in the good. trailer, Pyro. and even a monster that sort of looks like a yeti or something. Right, and there were some pretty big looking ruin guards in there as well. It looks like Dragon Spine will have plenty new monsters waiting for us, but who knows? That's Maybe his dragon just heart. out there looking for a snowball fight. Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Aww. Look at those ice <laughs> Anyway, ice there areas. was also quite a bit of cinematic moments in that trailer, too, so it's safe to say that Dragon Spine will definitely be packing lots of story content. Yeah, and those new characters look pretty you amazing, out of fire, too, yeah. packing so a lot of heat. Captain. Why don't we start with them? Sounds good to me, and for once, Everything I'm going to let you Everything sounds pretty chill. Finally. Good. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Albedo. Let's see. Let's see if I'm pronouncing even right. If it's pronouncing it right. Like a dancing pixel person. Yeah, the elevator. Those small bursts of area right there. Okay. I am Albedo, Chief Albedo. Alchemist so I did of the right. Knights okay. of Favonius. You carry the aura of the stars. Interesting. I would like to study you, if you do not mind. I'm certain we will have many opportunities to be alone in the future. Guys flirting already. Okay, Guys. our first character here is the alchemic master of Mondstadt, Albedo. He is a sword wielder and can manipulate the geo element. I really like his jacket, and I want this one for myself. First character. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, I don't the know if you picked up cool. on it or not, but during the 1.2 trailer at the beginning of the stream, it looks like he's really into sketching or art. Yeah, that's sort of like a unique aspect to add to his character. Maybe it's like his hobby or something. And I wonder if we're going to learn more about his connection with Sucrose, who is obviously another alchemist and that we have from Mondstadt. Hmm. I mean, she does her mention it. a couple of times in the opening trailer, too. Okay, so now that we've seen our first new character in action, Let's take a moment to get a closer look on a skill set. Ooh, getting down to the nitty gritty. Mm, absolutely. So, like I mentioned, Albedo is a Geo character, and he has a pretty unique skill set. 
When he casts his elemental skill, he summons something that looks like a flower called a solar isotoma. And when opponents within range of the solar isotoma are hit by an attack, the flower will then bloom into a transient blossom, dealing AoE Geo damage. I'll see it. Also, as you saw in the trailer, it. a character can stand in the center of the solar isotoma and it will lift them into the air. So you can basically use it like a platform. That is so cool. It's like an elevator. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely curious what those blossoms will do in combat. And it seems that his skill will also be really useful for a little boost to get to some of those hard to reach places oh, there it while is. adventuring. It just, it just on, yeah. It's on the monster. Imagine using the platform to lift Klee into the air during battle. <laughs> She'd basically become a little turret that rains bombs down on the enemy. <laughs> 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 All right, so now let's check out Albedo's Elemental Burst, shall we? Uh, his Elemental Burst causes Geo Crystals to burst forth, and if Albedo's Solar Isotoma is already on the field, then Fatal Blossoms will be generated, which burst violently into bloom. Yes! More flowers! I like it! You know, flowers on Valentine's Day must be so easy for this guy! <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Rock flowers, and speaking though. of flowers, let's move on to our next new character coming in version 1.2. It turns out that she also makes use of flowers. Yay! More flowers! Hmm. Does it mean Albedo's first? Back to back Geo? God damn it. I'm still trying to get a C2 Zongli. Nice archer. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's saving up for her, and I, and uh, yeah. Like a taunt skill, right? Oh, Dan, that's a way bigger area than Amber's area. That's look how bright from the, sky. Lit the city is at night. Amazing. I wonder what it's like for all the people down there. Um, no thanks. I think I'll pass on the night market. Sorry. Wow, we got rejected. All right. <laughs> Our second character coming in version wow. 1.2 is Ganyu, the secretary at Yuhai Ganyu. Pavilion. As you could see in her trailer, she's a bow wielder that can manipulate the cryo element. Yeah, her cryo style seems to be in line with the wintry theme we have going on in Dragon Spine. Also, did you see her outfit? I mean, all of the outfits in Damn. Genshin so are amazing. So if he charge, if he gets a full so charge shot, it shoots a little flower. That's a nice <laughs> and detail, are those though. Horns I see on her head. Yeah, it, it seems she has red horns, or maybe those are her ears. Ooh, that's an interesting aesthetic. Okay, now tell me more about her skills. I want to know more about these icy flowers that she has. Right, sure thing. So first, we should point out that Ganyu has a very unique charged attack. As she charges her bow, Cryo yeah. will accumulate on her arrows similar to how other archers also use the elements. However, Ganyu has different levels of charge, and the effects different of her level. cryo arrows will change the longer she charges her shots. Ooh, that's oh, second level of charge. As Get for flower. the flowers, Ganyu's elemental skill also places a flower on the ground like Albedo's, but her flower will attract opponents and then explode after a certain like, amount of time. Like Amber. How attractive are these flowers? So those poor hilly trolls will be like, oh my gosh, hey look, there's a lovely flower over there on the ground. Apparently that's how hilly trolls sound. And then it just blows up in their face. That's this so This is better cold. than the last <laughs> live stream that they did. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, things will only get colder from there. Because after unleashing her elemental burst, Ganyu will gracefully raise her hand in the air and summon ice shards that come raining down on her opponent. And it's a way bigger area Oh my area gosh, that than sounds ever. like it's gonna hurt! Okay, so it seems like she will be right at home in a cold place like Dragonspine, and pretty, I, for pretty one, OP, certainly actually. wouldn't want to get on her bad Sounds, side. sounds OP. <laughs> yeah, me neither. So, both of our new characters look really awesome. Yeah, back-to-back -to -back Geo! Viewers would like to know more about either of oh these God. two particular characters. Why are they, they doing this sure to me, to guys? Story quests, the Geo guy needs to summon it for in Geo. Oh, great! So we'll be getting new story quests for both of these characters as well? Yep, that's right. Both Albedo and Ganyu will have playable story yep. quests. Awesome! I can't wait to oh play through God. those. I'm also really excited to see how everyone's story progresses. It's kind of weird Dragon when it has Spine the, as well. the guy on the left and, which, <laughs> and two Albedo's on the screen. On the Dragon Spine area. <laughs> I know you're just bubbling with excitement over there. You betcha! We're off to the new Dragon Spine area! 
<laughs> nice one. Oh, but wait, uh, before we embark on our hike through Dragonspine, why don't we mm. give some prizes out to our lovely viewers? All right! We have some redeemable codes to thank you, our loyal travelers, for joining the stream. Goodies inbound in three, two, one! Yeah, yeah. I got them. I got them. It was a tweet on Twitter. I retweeted it. Or I liked it. I should retweet it. There. I retweeted it. There you go down my Twitter. Uh, Deep Pity tweeted it, so I just retweeted it. Can I like skip forward? Oh, it's wasted hella time on that. Travelers to explore in version 1.2. Frost. It will expand oh. the game's current world and open a new part of the map. Let's take a first look at some of the scenery just... that awaits players in Dragon's Spine. A mountain, spine. huh? Oh, it looks so cool. I I think I see a new challenge. I see... Well, and also look at all those, like, new chests. Oh, that means new items. <laughs> oh, I know. It's just, I'm always so blown away by the scenery in Genshin Impact. So I, I just, I really can't wait to explore Dragon Spine. It's going to be yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and all that snow makes me want to like warm and cozy up with some hot chocolate by a fire. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm cold right now. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. Yes. Usually Make you don't a see me in a burrito. A Paimon burrito. <laughs> oh no, wait. Does that mean you're going to eat me for real? <laughs> <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> 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 so I wonder what that um that red shiny thing, shiny red thing is. What what well, is rest, that? Oh, you mean like a heart. there's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. <clears throat> how, how did that sound? <laughs> you know what? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> we'll need to keep working on your Paimon though. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh wait, there's also there's some there's red ore scattered around that area too. I, I don't think we've ever seen that before. Yeah. And did you see the veins coming out of that red core in the middle? I wonder what those. It's like are. a heart, to be honest. <laughs> so I mean, I'm, I'm just speculating, but curious about why heart. this area is called Dragon Spine. I mean, there are Worm. massive dragon-like bones also jutting like dragon. out of the rock there. But maybe there is also some sort of deeper meaning? Well, it Wait, is pretty the whole area obvious dragon? that there are actual dragons in the world of Tevat, given <clears> that we've already terror. encountered Dvalin and Mondstadt. Yeah, so I wonder what dragon these bones are from. Maybe Dragonspine is like some sort of graveyard for dragons or something? Well, I guess everyone maybe. will just have to play and discover more about Dragonspine themselves. Okay, let's look at some more screenshots of the area. Wow, shots. look at all the icicles in Star Video Cavern. Yeah, everything look, is a time, so blue uh, and battle icy. Challenge. And look, and you can already see one of those time challenges in there in the middle and a couple of the pedestals for Seelys to call home. <laughs> nice. That's so it looks like there will definitely be some familiar mechanics in the new area, but it also looks like we're going to have a tons of new places to explore. Don't worry, little Seely. I will lead you all the way back to your little homes and then take your treasure chest. <laughs> Well, besides these ice caverns and terrifying dragon bones, there will be a whole Red host orders. of very lively creatures awaiting travelers in Dragon Spine. I like so, how this multi shall we try and guess level. which one Zach will get oh, killed please. by? Yeah, probably all of them. To be fair, just like the monsters three, here five. do seem pretty ferocious. <clears throat> Let's take a closer look. <laughs> hey, your five on is getting better already. All right, let's check out some of these monsters. <laughs> So, it looks like we got a yeah. ton of new monsters, which is super cool. I think I see, like, a yeti in there, a frost <laughs> yeti. Well, and I'm wondering about all, like, the What's different um, abilities that these monsters have. Finally, we have, have a new like, abyss mage. Ooh, what are they going to do I mean, do not abyss mage, but two mage. And how am I going to fight them back? <laughs> <laughs> like, we how only had the lecture. I was like, where are the other elements? I die to these honey? monsters. Probably a lot. <laughs> Probably. Oh, yeah, and I really love what they've done with the wintry aesthetics here. Yeah, we can definitely tell that cryo is going to be a big theme for a lot of these monsters. I mean, like, they're literally covered in ice. Oh, this fire is going to be better, guys. Storm Law, it almost looks like some sort of 
Oh, this is the Yeti. <laughs> and it's totally gonna stomp on your face. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, these monsters really fit the theme of the environment Ice here. Mage. And this ruin grater looks like an interesting one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the we've definitely grater. never seen one like that before. <laughs> so besides all the lovely winter aesthetics and ferocious monsters, are we getting any new mechanics for the dragon spine area? Yes, we are. Let's talk about the Sub-Zero climate. All right. So oh Dragon Spine doesn't just look cold. Your characters will actually feel the cold. As you venture deeper into the reaches of Dragon Spine without any heat source, your character's body temperature will Damn continuously fire drop and the effects even more of sheer useful. cold will accumulate. But be careful. If you let sheer cold accumulate too much, some frosty effects will appear on your screen and your character will start to take damage. Yikes! And that's not all. Performing certain actions in the harsh Dragon Spine environment can even accelerate Accelerate the effects of the cold, like swimming, for example. In other words, avoid jumping into bodies of freezing water. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> but the good news is, there are also many ways to stay warm in Dragon Spine. Uh, how know, about character. staying in a tavern next to the roaring fire? I mean, I like that idea, but not exactly. But you are onto something with the fire idea, though. In Dragon Spine, travelers can stay close to bonfires or special sources of heat in the area to reduce the effects of sheer cold. There are even special sealy in Dragon Spine that look all warm and toasty, which will protect you from the cold whenever Wait. you're nearby them. Wow, that's crazy. So, hmm, this adds a whole new thing to consider when adventuring. I mean, you really have to look for sources of heat and plan your movement carefully. Yeah, and if you get caught up in a difficult battle with some monsters that takes too long, the cold will probably be a problem. <laughs> right, and I think Dragon Spine's yeah. environment will have a pretty big influence on the approach of our combat strategies. Oh, all of this sheer cold stuff is already making me feel cold all I'm cold over. now, goddammit. Do you know what we need, Zach? Sticky honey roast? Sticky honey roast! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Despite its crazy harsh environment, Dragon Spine is still an area beckoning tree. for exploration. Tongue, well, yeah, I guess exploration in, like is at the heart of every stuff. adventure, right? That's right! There will be a variety of different things in the environment for travelers to discover and interact with. Let's take a deeper look at some key points of interest What's that? in What's that ice Spine, orb thingy? We? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> After entering Dragon Spine, travelers will soon discover oh, some mysterious crystal-like shards oh, in different okay. parts of so the area. Like, there like are a the total Geo of three small shards waiting to be discovered, which seem to be completely sealed in ice. Well, nothing a couple hits from a trusty Claymore can't solve, right? Wrong! Your Claymore has no power here! Oh. <laughs> The ice around these shards cannot be simply broken by a weapon's might. Travelers will have to find another way to break through all the sh Fire? icy shells. Ah, puzzles. Okay. I like where this oh, is going. Travelers should be sure to keep their eyes open as they traverse the pathways of Dragon Spine. And about the ice There's power even unit. some special red ore scattered around that's never been seen outside the area. But remember, not all pathways are open in Dragon Spine. The path to the summit is completely impassable, blocked with a mysterious force that prevents you from going forward. <laughs> Just like Los Angeles traffic. Oh yeah, just like that. It's, it's absolutely exactly like that. <laughs> so, it sounds like Don't finding care. the key to breaking these crystal shards might also be the key to unlocking the path to the summit? Interesting. I wonder what's at the top. There's gotta be something contained inside um, these shards, right? Dragon. In fact, there is! As travelers break the shards, Warming bottle. they'll discover oh, the frost-bearing tree. This tree is no ordinary tree. It desires a substance called crimson agate. Travelers can collect oh, more crimson those red agate ores. to submit okay. to the tree by gathering it in the wild or completing quests. Please don't huh. tell me to take resin. I wonder why this tree needs crimson agate. Is that what keeps it alive or something? I mean, we'll see. The travelers can upgrade the tree and receive rewards oh. by submitting more crimson agate. And these rewards will also Warming include bottle. a new gadget that you might find particularly handy in Dragon Spine called a warming bottle. Ah, nice. Kind of sounds nice. like a coffee thermos or something. Is it like something we can take to keep us warm on Dragon Spine? Catalyst, Frostberry. And once the tree reaches level 10, the travelers can then receive blueprints for a new four star catalyst weapon, Frostbearer. Cool. Catalyst. I love the name. It feels like it Do fits in with everything that we've been talking user? about so far. Mm -hmm. 
Also, while exploring and fighting monsters in the dragon spine area, oh. travelers might, might stumble be new across something guys. that looks like a dragon tooth. But you should take note that this is no ordinary dragon tooth. I don't even know what an ordinary dragon tooth would look like. If you follow the quests and collect these dragon teeth along with some other items, you'll then use them in the camp to forge another four-star weapon spear. called the Dragon Spine Spear. Oh, so that's spear. two new four-star weapons we can get now. Right. And travelers mm. will also receive the weapon's mm. blueprint as well. So wait, you're basically saying that we'll be like the tooth fairies of Dragon Spine? But instead of exchanging teeth for coins, we get four-star weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this will be pretty fun. And more weapons What's is always the a weapon plus. Do, for though? sure. Now let's take a closer look at what Albedo has been up to in the area. After Albedo's extended exploration of the Dragonspine area, he has store? discovered some ancient ruins buried in the snow and ice. He's also found some dungeon? script in the ruins, seemingly pointing him to the lost remains of a destroyed kingdom in Dragonspine. So, the history of Dragonspine begins to unravel. Hmm. There's a lot going on here despite the brutal environment. Traces of this kingdom are scattered all across Dragonspine, and there are even hidden quests. If travelers are able to uncover the secrets of these ruins, they'll receive a new four-star Claymore weapon, four Star, Claymore. Star okay. Silver. Wow, so that's like three new four-star weapons already up for grabs. Dragonspine is loaded. You know it. All right, Zach. Now that we've finished our first hike across Dragonspine, why don't we talk mm. about some of the events coming for version 1.2? Sounds good. Right. What would Thanks. a new version update be without new events? In version 1.2, travelers will be Maybe able to embark events? on an exciting new event. The Chalk Prince and the Dragon. Ooh. I wonder who's the prince and who's the dragon. This event will lead travelers in an all-new storyline across the Dragon Spine area. And travelers will get to spend some quality time with our new character, Albedo, who plays a front and center role in the story here. Oh, nice! So, how do we fit into I the story here? Close. And by we, I mean the traveler and, you know, Paimon! <laughs> well, basically, Albedo takes the traveler and Paimon on a dangerous new quest, entrusting the traveler with a cursed sword. Wait, a cursed sword? Can I That's use right. It? The Traveler is tasked with using this sword in Dragonspine to grow its power. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound like your average sword to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's different about the event storyline this time it? around is, it a... is that Albedo's very own character story will serve as a precursor leading up to the event story. Wait, so that means Albedo's story quest will lead right into the event story? Ooh, I always love it when games can tie mm. content together like that. <laughs> Yeah, me too. So let's take a quick look at part of Albedo's very own storyline to help set up the song and get a quick glimpse of his alchemic mastery. Okay, okay, sounds good. Whoa, whoa. You oh. wanna start with that? Hmm. You're right. Giving a demonstration would be Well Frostberry could be for Sucro, that's what they're showing. For example, awakening life. Submit to life into <laughs> fallen leaves. You psychic? Whoa! Albedo does really right. have strong alchemic powers. He certainly does. Albedo's character will definitely become more apparent through his storyline and the event. Yeah, it was nice that we got Ooh. to know Fischl and Mona a lot better in the 1.1 Meteorites event, and it's awesome that they're connecting Albedo's storyline with the Dragonspine story this time around. Definitely. And I'm not sure if everyone noticed or not, but we have a nice quality of life feature that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy, which was featured in that cutscene. Oh? In version 1.2, we have a new autoplay auto -play function for dialogue. I'll be doing Which that. means the game will automatically play the voiceovers and then proceed to the next line for dialogue scenes. Oh yeah! That makes it so much easier to just sit back and enjoy the story rather than having to press a button to proceed every three seconds. It really helps make the dialogue sections play like it's almost a movie. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this one as well. Alrighty, so now let's take a look at some screenshots we have from okay, okay. the Chalk okay. Prince and the Dragon story. Oh, but this event oh, has damn. come over to significance. Um, the church hopes up with that, that all outfit? sisters will be present. Hopes? That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes more, of more hot waifus, guys. description. 
<laughs> yeah, Wait, so Barbara look first different? we have Barbara as well as an unfamiliar character here. Yeah, she looks really cool. Like, she looks like one tough girl, and she's got the personality to back it up, too. <laughs> I hope she doesn't hurt Barbara's feelings. <laughs> yeah, her name is Rosaria, and Sorry. she is and indeed one of the nuns. More flowers. So, I'm sure Barbara's used to it. <laughs> Well, she definitely doesn't look like a typical nun to me, that's Seriously. for sure. I wonder what her story is. I guess we'll have to play the story to find out. She'll be making an appearance in the event. Okay, let's go to our next yeah. screenshot, featuring the adorable Sucrose. Then, could I ask you for a favor? In truth, I feel like Albedo is concealing something from myself and Timaeus. That's true, but... I feel like he's always hiding something. It is my personal guess that it is some great secret of alchemy. Oh, Sucrose seems to be super worried here. He's blushing, Wait, too. isn't Sucrose supposed to be Albedo's assistant? You'd think she would know what he's up to. Maybe Albedo's working on some dangerous research that he can't let Sucrose or Timaeus get involved Just with? Just told him. Huh. Well, that's their, that's their relationship. More and more of a mystery. It. Besides, who would ever want to hide anything from sweet little Sucrose? <laughs> Maybe Sucrose is just overly curious about Albedo's work. She's curious like a cat. Oh, maybe that explains her ears. Uh, now we're on to something. All right, let's take a look at our next screenshot. Indeed. The dragon's eyes, claws, and scales ground into dust before being used to coat the blade. In this way, uh, it's corruption like a dragon and blade. venom entered into the sword and became the source of its power. The cursed sword you mentioned earlier. That's right. Curse and of the dragon. Albedo said that Durin's corruption and venom entered into the sword. Huh. Sounds pretty dangerous. I like how Albedo just decides it's okay to trust us with a weapon like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> if Albedo gives it to the traveler, then it must be a pretty <laughs> special <laughs> item. <laughs> there might even be a price to using such a weapon, and. Maybe if we pay the price, like, it could become very powerful. Huh. Like, what, oh, like, HP? um, maybe it, like, consumes HP of whoever's wielding it, or, um, maybe it consumes some sort of special items. Right, right. Well, I guess we'll oh. have to play <laughs> the event and see. Okay, it's time for our last event screenshot. But if you want to know why I trust you, it might be because... The unusual ones like us share a certain degree of understanding. It's gut feeling. Only really? individuals. Those who aren't like ordinary people. It just is gut feeling. Just like uh, you and me. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh, Albedo said the unusual ones like or us. Or maybe Does he's also he's like a isekai well, person. Well, he also said they're lonely individuals who aren't like ordinary people. So perhaps he's simply referring to that they are just both unique in some way? No, it can't be that simple. Besides, those two look practically alike. I think Albedo has another side to him. Maybe some mysterious identity that he keeps hidden from everyone else. Or he's or our double he double might ganger. Simply be a lonely in the parallel of world. Alchemy. AKA Such Ichi. genius is already unusual enough. Don't you think? We did oh, Isekai. Now here, I right? want to know everything about Albedo. <laughs> I guess we'll have to play through the story ourselves to learn more. So, Karina, besides the new storyline, why don't you tell us a little bit about what else travelers can expect from the Chalk Prince and the Dragon event? Sure thing! And now, before we proceed to the next section, let's give out another code. How long is this? In addition uh, to a new storyline for the Dragon Spine area, the Chalk Prince and the Dragon oh, event is like a new will domain? also feature a variety of different quests for travelers oh, to quests. <laughs> with tons okay. of different rewards. The Chalk it's gonna be Prince new because the area is gonna be new. We're not gonna know where to go. Will be divided up into four separate acts. Ah, I can see already that the Cursed Sword is going to play an important role in this event. Act then one of the event a will be unlocked as soon as you completed Albedo's story quest, called the Prince's Cretaceous Chapter. And those uh, talent upgrades are for Albedo and Donnie. will be gradually yeah. unlocked afterwards, each containing a variety of different quests and challenges to be completed. Seems straightforward enough. Now, here's where the sword comes in. 
Once all the single axe challenges have been completed, in addition to the axe completion rewards, travelers will also unlock a new ability for festering desire, the cursed sword. Ooh, so the abilities of the sword are literally growing, just like we saw earlier in the storyline. Exactly, but that's not all. After each event act is completed, travelers will also receive a corresponding type of essence. You know, in addition to all the other yeah, stuff for the tree, we before. Right? So, what can we use that for? Oh, for for say Prima gems? Not exactly. Essence can be used in the event shop, and travelers can exchange it for whatever rewards pique their prima, interest. Prima. But there's a key thing to remember here. What's that? All of the materials required for refining Festering Desire will also be available in the event shop. In other words, after completing all the event challenges, travelers will also complete Festering Desire. <laughs> nice. So, if we count the three weapons we mentioned earlier, here we have all the weapons that will be available as rewards in version 1.2. Wow, and I was already excited about the weapons we saw earlier. So four as star we sword, also briefly four mentioned star earlier, catalyst. some of these weapons can the be bow? obtained directly, whereas others can be obtained indirectly via blueprints. That's a lot of new weapons. What else do you have for us, Why Karina? Are you missing the bow? I feel like you're on a roll right now with all these rewards. Sure am. In version 1.2, uh, yeah, the new game artifacts. will also be updated with Hydro. two brand new sets of artifacts. The Cryo, Cryo artifact set, Blizzard Strayer, as well as the Hydro artifact That's set, Heart of Death. Everyone can check out the details in the descriptions here. Oh uh, yeah. I can see uh, how yeah. these are going to be pretty awesome for the Cryo and Hydro characters we have so far. Yeah. And I like how the names of these new sets match their corresponding effects. Is there a Good Heart names just makes everything in the game come together. Oh yeah. Wait, that's so a pirate hat? Oh my god. Everyone, both sets feature a corresponding elemental damage bonus nice. for a two-piece set, which is awesome. And then the four-piece cryo set increases crit rate against opponents affected by cryo, whereas the right. four-piece hydro set increases normal and charged attack damage after using an elemental skill. I literally can't wait to get some of these for my characters. But the question is, which domain are these gonna drop in? Uh, wait, is there gonna be a domain in Dragon's New domain. Bingo! An all new domain called the Peak of Indignir will be available in the Dragon's Fine area. So don't forget to stop by and unlock the new domain while exploring the area. <laughs> if anything, I'll be stopping in there to save myself from sheer cold. <laughs> <laughs> and that's everything we have for the Dragon's Fine event. But I'm sure you have other events waiting for us, right, Zach? Yeah, definitely. Tevat is a large Challenge world, and mini -games. plenty of other things will also be happening across the lands in version 1.2. Ostriches. Let's start with an event for travelers looking for a real challenge. Yeah. The Hypostatic Symphony. Ooh, All three cubes musical. at the same time? In the Hypostatic Symphony oh. event, travelers will find themselves facing off with hypostases that oh, have some peer. special abilities compared to the ones that we typically encounter in the wild. Oh yeah, these oh, hypostases seem pretty intense. <laughs> More importantly, travelers will be able to select the difficulty and conditions for the challenge. By choosing to take on a harder difficulty in more demanding conditions, travelers will have a chance at receiving more bountiful rewards. Bountiful. Okay, not quite the musical I imagined, but fighting hypostases is always oh, fun. But if taking on hardcore challenges is not your style, we'll also have something a little more relaxing called Lost Riches. Wait, hold on. Did I just see like a Seelie following the traveler? <laughs> Am I being replaced? <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> in this event, yes. travelers will partner up with a little Seelie in search for treasure. I mean, okay. I hope I'm not being replaced, but I do love the Seelie. Only for this event, I, though, really cute. or this mini game. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not being replaced, but the little Seelies are really cute. Uh, in this event, the Seelie will indicate whenever you are getting close to nearby treasure, after successfully locating the treasure, travelers will receive some special iron coins, which can then be exchanged in the shop. Okay, that sounds really it's cool. Event, but once right? we get the Sealy, do we get? To, I, I wish we could keep it. Do we get to keep it? Well, a reward right there. has been granted. After collecting enough iron coins, you can exchange them to add the Sealy to your inventory. No the way. Yup. 
Then you can just equip Not permanent? the Come on, and it man. will accompany you on okay, all your future adventures. Aw, that's so awesome! If I get a Sealy, I don't think I will ever be able to play without it. <laughs> yeah, same. I want a yellow one so for Geo. Travelers should remember that special areas will unlock when hunting for treasure. All you'll er, need to do is Unum? check the map to find each area's Uma? location. This will definitely be a great event for exploring more of the game's open world as well. Okay, this might just be my favorite part of version 1.2 so far. Okay, 300 premium gems. Last but not least, we have a returning favorite with a bit of a new spin. You might remember him by his unique sense of fashion and unorthodox business style. Wait, wait, <laughs> is it the <laughs> crazy traveling merchant guy? <laughs> you got it. Ah, oh, yes, I love that guy. It's leaving. Yep, and he's back again. But this time around, he's going to be changing things up a bit. Oh, this should be interesting. So, for Marvelous Merchandise in version 1.2, travelers will now be able to find Lieben while visiting other players' worlds. Ooh. Oh, really? Everyone will have different rewards available at random from Lieben each day. So if you're interested in what Lieben is offering in someone else's world, you should be sure to pay him a visit there. Oh, that's an interesting oh. twist. I can't wait to see what rewards he'll be trading for this time. Or co -ops. All right, and that's it event-wise. So, Karina, why don't you take us through some final features and optimizations travelers can expect to see in version 1.2? You got it! In addition to all the exciting new Big events names. and content we've Boy introduced taking. today, which has already been a lot, version 1.2 will also it's feature a variety of optimizations to improve the overall gameplay experience. Awesome. Let's hear some details. Improvements have been Preview. made to oh. various features, including nice. the in-game chat, the photo-taking system, domain drop collection, and character auto, auto pick up, please. Sounds like they've made a lot of improvements to different parts of the game. Yup. So let's go through each of these improvements one by one and see what's waiting for us in 1.2. Okay, ready when you are. Travelers will be able to set custom names for their friends via the friend screen. Oh, uh, nice. I'll finally be able to remember the names of the people I'm I'll, playing with. I'll put them with and the Twitch name. And Karina will be able to give her friends ugly nicknames. Hmm. I'll just give them the Twitch name so I can like, understand. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Also, travelers will now be able to chat directly with their friends via the main game screen, even mm. outside of co-op mode. Can we get more yes. uh, friend so slots? So I'll be able to chat with my friends when I'm working uh, on my single player Rudy's quest? Version. That's right. Please don't spam me with messages, though. I can't promise anything. All right, next we have a new gadget coming for version 1.2. Ooh. Camera. It's called the camera with a K. Travelers can equip it to be able to snap photos at the press of a button. Also, the classic photo-taking system under the Paimon menu will support new options for character expressions, as well as improved uh. camera movement features. So now it should be easier for travelers to capture all their favorite adventuring movements. Sweet. I can't wait nice. to try that out on Dragonspine. Yeah, just be sure to not get frozen while posing in the cold, okay? Again, I can't promise anything. <laughs> <laughs> and next we have an improvement that travelers have already been requesting for some time now. Oh, goody. Starting in version 1.2, drop domain rewards like materials and artifacts will be directly added to your inventory. Okay. Nice. So we won't have to spend time picking up each of the dropped rewards anymore? Exactly. Everything will be oh, automatically nice. you collected see the gold, for though. our travelers now. Oh, that is so much more convenient. Oh, I know, right? And our next improvement is also a convenient one for domains. After completing a domain, travelers may now directly choose to challenge that particular domain again. Yes. That'll also be a oh, real time saver. And the host finally, controls we it. have a couple of important updates in 1.2 regarding character ascension. First off, travelers will now yeah, receive great one fate. acquaint fate each time they ascend their characters at level 20, level 50, and level 70. I'll never say no to more acquaint fate. Also, travelers yeah. will now be able to check any particular character's required ascension materials directly from the main character screen. Ah, so now it'll be easier to check which materials we need to start yeah. collecting. Precisely. This will be really be handy great. whenever you get a new character and you have to keep checking which materials you need to look for. Great. I look forward to checking out all of these in-game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking too. forward to looking forward. So that forward. does it for the optimizations that are coming in version 1.2. All right, goodies inbound in three, two, oh. one. Got this one already. A little bit more left, right? For our first official sneak peek at version 1.2. <laughs> what do you think, Karina? Three minutes. Did you have fun what doing the stream together? Yes. 
So I kind of hope that they invite us back again to do more streams in the future because I had so much fun. Yeah, yeah I know, right? It's, it's so much <laughs> better than the last and, one. And honestly, for sure. it looks like they're adding so much new content to the game. I'm sure they'll have us back for more soon. I can't wait to start hiking on Dragon Spine. Yeah, we all know that you're just gonna be frozen out there. <laughs> hey, but here's like, to hey. hoping that all of our travelers stay warm just and because enjoy I'm their Geo, new adventures in Dragon Spine. Yeah, stay safe out there, everyone. And thanks again for joining us for the last stream of the year. Hopefully, they'll have us back again on the live streams in 2021. See you all in version 1.2. Bye, everyone. Hey. So this might sound weird, but I'm actually oh. really excited for the sheer cold. I think that's just gonna add a whole other You're element to the game. You're not afraid to get frozen? No, I'm just like I. Bro, this is so annoying. You know, I'm to You're be... gonna be. You're gonna. You're gonna accidentally swim and forget that you get like super frozen when oh, you I go know. into I'm... water like a billion times. I'm probably gonna regret saying this, but I think it'll be fun, you know, too, especially with winter and just I don't know. It just adds that extra extra mechanic to the game i mean like mm. i always like the winter aesthetic, I, feel, I just hope that the event yeah, stays I, I, afterwards I, though I, mean, I love snow i'm from seattle originally snow is great and cold is great and i just like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah same and and winter is like the best part of the year i always like winter it is it really is Bye because mm -hmm. summer and is... I'm also really excited for the new story. Not only I'm the just watching the, but the new link. story just listening. that come with them. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to... I, I always like learning about the new new characters and what they're yeah, up to. I hope you guys to. enjoyed that reaction. Um, I actually fun. enjoyed this yeah, live stream no, way too. better than the last one. New skills, um, maybe I'll have a video enemies, looking at the stuff in between. We got those like, emotes, which will be or super, in depth, super but... Cool. I um, so hopefully you guys have fun and Just check out my live stream. Maybe I'll do it there and whatnot. Let them do emotes. <laughs> Let them do all the hard work. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, I think it's over. For 40 right? minutes. Yeah, they're just talking <laughs> well, about honest, random that's stuff. That's pretty much just me, you know. But yeah, just later like, days, guys. Later days. Social will be down below. Yeah. <laughs>